Hi everybody, it's Amanda back with Amanda Rose Tarot and we're here today to do another pick a card reading. The subject or theme for this particular reading is going to be who admires you and we'll try to see why do they admire you. So before we get started, I do want to mention um, if you haven't yet, make sure to hit that subscribe button and also the notification button. I just posted over on my community page a free reading giveaway. So um, if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure and do that. Head on over to my community page and all you have to do is comment there after you've subscribed and I will enter you into that contest to win that free reading. Uh, I, I'm going to wait probably a couple weeks before I announce the winner just so I can make sure that everybody gets a chance to get on that list. Um, if you don't see a heart beside your comment, that could mean that your comment went into my spam folder. So if you don't get a heart from me, then reach out to me. You can email me, amandarosetarot at hotmail.com. But if I do put the heart beside it, that means I've seen it. I've entered your number in the list of people to win. So without further ado, let's start the reading. So who admires you and why? The cards that we're using are one card from the Messenger Oracle, one card from the Healing with the Fairies Oracle, one card from the Zombie Deck, and one card, no, two cards from the White Sage Tarot, and one card from my personal Channeled Messages Deck. So I'm just going to be quiet, let you guys focus on the icons, which one you're drawn towards. Um, you can pause the video, go by the timestamps if you like. Um, the first reading is going to be this bouquet. So that will be reading number one. The second reading is going to be the unicorn. That will be reading two. And then the third reading is going to be the purple tulip. So if you're drawn towards that, that is going to be reading number three. So please pick your pile. Okay, so if you picked pile number one with the bouquet of pink flowers, let's, um, let's save your channeled message for last. Okay, you've got the four of cups. Hopefully you guys can see that. You've got the seven of pentacles. You've got the Knight of Cups. You've got the Beauty card. Nice. And you've got Heed the Messenger, card number 16. Okay. So who admires you? So it could be a water sign. That would be Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. That's really the only sign that I'm getting, um, but that doesn't have to be their sun sign. It could be their moon sign. It could be their rising sign. It could just be that they are kind of in that energy right now. Um, with the beauty card, this person really admires you because they think you're beautiful. So they admire your beauty, um, whether you're a man or a woman. <laughs> Uh, but mostly that's going to be for women because most of my viewers are women. Um, but this person really thinks you're a beauty. This person, they probably like your face, your hair, uh, every inch of you. So they just like your physical appearance. Um, maybe you're a type of person who um, likes to take care of yourself. Um, so you like to stay beautiful. Maybe... You paint your nails maybe you go for manicures or pedicures 
or you just enjoy, you know, going to get a haircut, a new hairstyle, um, and they just really think you're a, a really attractive person. You have this glow about you is kind of what I'm feeling. Um, also this person, I think that they're just really crazy about the way you look. They're just really happy and satisfied with your looks and maybe even, you know, your body. Um, so it could be that it, maybe you're just a natural beauty. It doesn't have to be that you wear makeup. Um, they could just think that, you, you know, you have this natural beauty about you. Um, with he, the messenger, um, I think they also see you as kind of a, um, a person that's really connected to the other side. Um, this person could see that you, um, you don't ignore messages. So if you get messages like maybe angel numbers, maybe you're seeing two, two, two or something like that. Um, they really think that you you listen to that. So they think you're intuitive. They think that you're wise. Um, they could think that you're really, um, spiritual and they like that. Maybe you're, you teach them about that or you've told them about that. And, um, you know, I think they, they like that about you. That's one of the things that they really admire about you is that you have this really close connection with your spirituality. It could be that you also have a really good connection with nature, you know, the way she's got this bird on her shoulder. Um, some of you out there, it could be if you have a tattoo on your shoulder, they could really like that. Some of you, if you uh, have fashion colors in your hair, um, they really like that about you. Or if you wear, um, you know, a flower crown, something like that. I'm feeling like some of you out there, they really like that. Or maybe it's just you have blue eyes. That could be what this card is talking about. It's going to be different for everybody, but definitely if you have blue eyes, they think that's really, really beautiful. Kind of like this woman here. Um, this person that admires you. So, in the um, in the zombie deck, the Knight of Cups, um, he can be kind of a little bit of a player. I hate to say that, but sometimes he is. And in this partic particular deck, they do mention that. So it says he may steal your heart, so be careful. So it could be the person that admires you you've already been in a relationship with this person really um there was a lot of emotions involved is kind of what i'm getting with you and this person um this person could also um let's see let's see the knight of cups here um so this person could be um, kind of romantic at times. So they're really charming. Um, they like to have fun. Um, they could like to go to the beach. Um, but it says watch your heart, you know, because this person could literally steal your heart. Hey, if they're a man, maybe it's uh, you like the way they look in their underwear. Maybe if this is a man watching this, they really like the way you look in your underwear. Maybe they just think that you have a nice body. Um, or when you wear your sunglasses, it could be they really think that you look cool. Um, that could resonate for some of you out there. But um, whether you're a man or a woman, this person really does admire you the way you look there's something about the way you look it's very unique um maybe you know if you wear the color yellow they really like that color on you that color really stands out or blue or even black maybe um you change your look a lot maybe you change your hair a lot um something like that i'm kind of getting for some of you
but I think they're just crazy about the way you look. Um, they just adore you. They just really, really adore you. Um, we've got the Four of Cups here as well. Um, this person could, like I said, be stuck on you is kind of what I'm getting. Um, they really notice you. And they could um, maybe want to have a drink with you. Or maybe you have gone and had a drink with this person. Um, they could just feel really stable when they're with you. You could make them feel, you know, like they can rest when they're with you. Kind of like this bird is resting on um, this woman's shoulder. So it could be that... Um, they just, they just like being around you and um, I feel like this person is, they can be kind of an introvert and it's like they sometimes get stuck in that and it's like you have to kind of help them get out of that. So I do feel like sometimes this person gets stuck in a funk and they look to you to help them to get out of it. So that could be a trigger to you as to who this person could be. Um, but I do feel like it's someone that you've known. Um, maybe they did break your heart because this card talks about um, breaking hearts or stealing hearts or something like that. Um, we've got the Seven of Pentacles. So... This talks about working hard. Um, this person could really see you as a person who um, has worked really hard and is starting to see the rewards of that. Uh, a person who just puts in a lot of effort no matter what they do. They just, you know, they make sure to do a good job. And because of that, you know, they... Um, they're coming into this abundance. So um, it could be like things are just starting to flow. Or this could be um, they notice that. They notice that you've been working hard and things are starting to flow. So your abundance is coming. And if this person is just like in their funk right now, it's probably because of you. So I think they... Um, maybe they withdrawn from you or maybe they felt rejected by you, but they still really admire you and they real, really see you as a hard worker. Um, also someone who is, takes care of themselves and is has a good connection with nature so let's look at your channeled message this is just a channeled message from this person that admires you have i told you that you look adorable when you eat don't deprive yourself you're perfect so kind of like um what i said here with the beauty card so like if if you have like feelings about yourself, like um, you don't see yourself as a beautiful person, maybe you have um, thought like, oh, well, I got to go on a diet, you know, or you fasted, something like that with um, eating because it says don't deprive yourself. So this person could know about that and they could just want you to know that they love your physical body. Um, they're crazy about you and they just they just get a lot of pleasure from looking at you so if you have thoughts about your body like um, you know that you need to work on it it's just not where you want it to be this person really that's that's not something that they think that you have to work on they think that you just are naturally beautiful attractive just the way you are and they don't want you to deprive yourself um, they think you look adorable just the way you are so really nice message here um, 
I would just be careful if this person does have kind of an in and out energy, but this person definitely admires you for a lot of different things, but mostly the look of you is just very alluring and attractive. So that's what I'm getting for you, number one. Thank you so much for coming. Like I said, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Um, I'm giving away a free reading over on my community page. So go check that out. Okay, so if you pick number two, the unicorn, Let's see, what is this? Who is this person that admires you and why? So we're going to save the channeled message for last. Okay, we've got the Ace of Swords. We've got the Two of Cups. We've got the Magician. You've got quiet time. And you've got know your fears card number 20. All right, so why does this person admire you? Um, this person definitely with the two of cups here, this person, they admire you because they are in love with you. They want to have a relationship with you so obviously you know this person is going to admire you if they want to be in a relationship with you um this person could um think that you sometimes um sometimes you have this fear and it's um Hmm. It's like you have fears of things or you have doubts about yourself. Um, maybe you question your judgment or you just, um, you have these fears within you. And this person, um, they, they could think that you're maybe too much of a warrior or you fear a lot of things and I don't know why they like that about you. Maybe they just, um, maybe they're this similar type of person that they, um, they also are a very cautious person and they don't really trust people right away. Um, so I think that you guys both kind of have doubts. You question yourself, um, you restrict yourself from getting into a relationship with this person because of like a fear of success. So it's kind of an unfounded fear, but I feel like this person feels it, you feel it, and you guys have that in common. So I feel like you and this person just have a lot in common and that's one of the reasons why this person admires you um this person um let's see what else am i getting um this person it could be that um this person with the quiet time card i talked about fears and i talked about um being cautious this quiet time card talks about um, being like maybe fatigued or depressed or maybe appetite or weight issues, sleep disorders or just withdrawing from things. And I think you and this person both are kind of like that person that does that so I think you guys both kind of like your quiet time you like being away from other people and it could be that other people really stress you out you and this person both um fear success fear um 
going out, you know, a lot of things like that is what I'm feeling like. Um, and you guys both could like have this stress about, um, maybe going out of your house. It could be something to do with the quarantine, but it, it doesn't necessarily have to be. It could just be like, um, just feeling overloaded. Like, oh, I need to just rejuvenate myself. I just need to maybe, um, lay down, take a nap or, um, take a bubble bath or, you know, just go read a book or something. So I think both of you guys really like spending time alone. And that could be another reason why, you know, there's, you guys are not in a relationship because I feel like you're not, uh, this person admires you. They want to be in a loving relationship with you, but they have too many fears, too many doubts, fear of success, and it's to their detriment really. So this stress, um, it causes this person to be depressed and anxious, irritable, you know, sleep disorders. So the person that admires you, I don't know. They're kind of different is what I'm getting here. Definitely a different kind of person, but it could be that you are the same as this person. You guys are both that kind of way where you just rather be like, oh, I don't want to go out. I want to spend time at home. You know, I like being at home. I don't want to mess around with people. So it could be that both you guys are like that. So it's like how you're going to be in a relationship with someone that's a hermit and you're also a hermit. It's hard. It's hard to find the opportunity to make it work. But I do feel like this person wants to make it work. You know, they, they're, they're sad, you know, too, is kind of what I'm getting um, about the fact that you are not together. So um, I think that these problems, you know, that you guys or this person is dealing with, it's because this person, um, I don't know, maybe they need help with their problems. Um, this person could be a little bit of like, a, I don't know, a puppet master. Like they, they're really like a smooth talker as well as kind of what I'm getting. Um, Maybe they think you're the smooth talker. Maybe they really think that you're the smooth talker. And maybe they have a hard time trusting what you say. So this person could think that maybe you are a little bit deceptive. Maybe if you've told them, like, I love being with you. You know, I want to be, you know, I want you to be my boyfriend or girlfriend, whatever. Um, this person could be like, well, I don't know if I trust them. You know, they're, they could be deceiving me. I think they're just, you know, looking at their own agenda. You know, it's like, what do they really want? So this person, I feel like they just have a lot of trust issues. And like I said, that could be something you guys both share. You know, you guys are similar that way. Um, what else am I kind of getting here? Um, let's see, this person, with the Ace of Swords, it could be that this person is cutting some things out of their life. Maybe they realize that in order to be closer to you or in a connection with you, they do have to change some things in their life. So, it could be this person is in the process of doing that. Um, it's stressful to them. I feel like it's stressful to them to have to change things in their life. Maybe, you know, like I said, they're a person who's, uh, they, they like being at home. They like being on their own. And if, you know, being with you involves changing things, that could be hard for this person. But I think that there could be some breakthrough coming in the future with you and this person. Um, this person, I think that 
they want to cut to like the heart of the matter and the heart of the matter is they want to be with you so whatever they need to cut away to get to be with you i think they're definitely going to do it you know um look at this hacksaw he's got here so it's like <laughs> even if they have to get rid of some person to be with you this person's ready they're ready to do that they maybe um they need more quiet time maybe you're their quiet time like it could be that this person um with the ace of swords that this person really needs to um be truthful with you this person it could be that uh they're having new thoughts about you in general like um it could be they're kind of overcoming these fears. Like maybe they're like, why do I, why do I think that this person's deceptive? Why do I think that this person couldn't love me? You know, what makes me think that? So this person could be having new thoughts. Maybe they're, you know, some kind of aha moment. Like, huh, you know what? I do deserve love. And maybe this is the person that's for me. So you know, I feel like in the future, this person could be waking up to that, or maybe they are right now. But I think if they've had any fears about moving forward with you, it doesn't make sense. You know, it doesn't make sense. If they get pleasure in being with you, then why run away from you? That doesn't make sense to run away from things that you love, you know, that you want. Um... So this person could be a little bit crazy, could be a little bit nuts, is what I'm getting with a magician. I'm sorry, because it's the person that you're asking about, but they're crazy. They're a little bit crazy. Maybe it's you. Maybe you drove this person crazy. Uh, let's look at the channeled message from this person. Uh, if you're interested in this deck, I have the link down below, but this is a personal deck that I've made. Okay. Okay. Next time I hug you, I probably won't let go for a long time. Oh, I love that message. So this person, um, definitely they miss you. Definitely they want to see you. This person is crazy about you. They may be crazy, but they're crazy about you. And they want to be, you know, closer to you. They want to be intertwined with you. So I think they're working on cutting out anything that doesn't work in their life so that they can be with you. So the person that admires you wants to be in a relationship with you. So that's what I'm getting if you pick number two, the unicorn. Thank you guys so much for coming. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. I just posted a free reading giveaway over on my community page. So all you have to do is subscribe and comment over there. And I will enter you into that drawing to win that. Okay, and last but not least, if you pick these purple tulips, let's see who admires you and why. We're going to save this channeled message for last. Okay, we've got the Nine of Wands. We've got the Ten of Pentacles. We've got the Six of Swords. We've got the Inner Child card. And you've got Make the Sacrifice card number 27. Okay, so who admires you and why? So, um, this person that admires you. I think that um, you do know this person. I'm really feeling like you already know this person for some reason. And um, this person, the it's hard for this person to make things happen. Um, this person is kind of unwilling to give themselves. They could be worried about giving themselves or you know, making the sacrifice, doing what's necessary um, to get what they want, which I feel like is you. 
So this person needs to overcome that um, unwilling to make any action or take any action towards you. If they can do that, then I feel like things could really work out between you and this person because they really do think that they desire you and they also think you're super cute. Um, with this inner child card here, uh, I get a cute energy. You know, this person, they're kind of hugging a teddy bear, but they're fully grown. So it could be this person likes that energy about you. Like you remind them of someone who is likes to play, someone who is playful, someone that would love to go to like an amusement park or maybe just is the kind of person who um, does things, you know, to nourish their soul, um, stops to smell the roses and stuff like that, maybe tells silly jokes or just um, just takes the time to nourish the child within them. So this person could really see you as someone who they love being around, someone that you know likes to play, someone that has patience and is just so much fun. You know, it could be that you make this person feel young, you make this person feel refreshed, this person, you could, they could think you're spontaneous, but they really like that about you. They like that spontaneous side because they feel like with the make the sacrifice card here, they're the opposite. They're not that type of person. They don't um, go out of their way to maybe um, have fun. I feel like this person is a lot darker than you, unfortunately. This person could be a person who is not patient. And, um, I think their emotions tend to be sometimes negative. It's like that inner voice is like, don't do it. You know, that could be bad. Don't do that. Uh, so this person, I feel like they're more reserved. Um, they wouldn't be the type to go on some crazy roller coaster, you know, some high dive thing or anything like that. I feel like they admire that about you, that you're kind of a more daring person, a more spontaneous person. Um, maybe you're a person who likes to travel, uh, or has traveled a lot. This person, um, it could be that... Um, they admire the fact that you maybe are able to hide your scars. You know, maybe you have scars on your heart from like past relationships, people that hurt you, but you're really good at keeping it, you know, below the surface. So despite the fact that may, maybe you have been hurt a lot, you are good at being at peace with it so it's like moving on from those dead relationships and even if you were hurt you know you you're willing to heal and and this person could have a hard time doing that they have a hard time leaving the past behind the past is gone it's dead but this person they could have a hard time leaving it behind and they admire that you can do that so you always are looking forward. You're always looking forward. You're not looking at the past and not stuck on past relationships. So maybe you are kind of a person who just lets things go easily. Um, you're like I said, you're kind of spontaneous. If you wanted to have a fresh start with someone, you would be able to leave behind an old relationship. So it's like you're you're kind of innocent, but they like that about you, that you're carefree, that you have this freedom about you. This It's like you're an optimist, okay? You're an optimist. You're always like maybe looking at the good side of things or the positive side of things. And I feel like this person is not. They're not like that. They get stuck up on the past. Um, so they're crazy about you, the fact that you can get over things, past relationships, even if you got hurt, um, you could 
really appreciate like the lesson that came from it. Um, the Ten of Pentacles. So this person could see you as a person who's really, really abundant. Someone who maybe has worked really hard to get where they are. Um, so they could think that maybe you're just financially, you're maybe in a better place than them. Um, or they could just think that you are a person who has just had financial opportunities with, you know, money, inheritance, or um, family, maybe they think you come from a wealthy family, or they just, you know, see you as someone who has comfort, has luxury, you know, self-sufficient, has this security, so maybe you have some of the things that they don't have, so they admire you for that, they could be like, oh, well, you know, they've got a house, and they've got, you know, vehicle, and they have so much, like, you're so abundant. So they could think that, they could admire you for that. Just think that you are such a hard worker. Um, what else? Um, they could see you as a person who um, maybe has a new job or... Um, someone who well it could be something to do with family as well they could think that you have um, a really good family life they could think that you have um, you you get pleasure from being with your family um, it could be that they see you as the type who um, goes to parties some of you out there they could see you as someone who likes to celebrate have good times likes to party like I said spontaneous type person free person they really admire that about you what else are we getting um, this person um, also they think that you have a lot of courage. Um, they could think that maybe you you stand out because you you have so much courage, and you you're always moving forward. So it's like even if you know life has roughed you up, you know you've been through these disappointments. Um, these heartaches, the loss, you know, you're able to recover and you're just a person who has the courage to be different as well. So it's like, you don't care about what other th people think of you. Um, you don't worry about what other people think of you. You're happy. You, you know, you'll do whatever and you'll go wherever you want. No one's holding you back and they could see you as just someone who is just such a free spirit and they just love that about you as far as who this person could be um you know physically I'm getting this person they could be um they could be dark skinned they could um they could have black hair or they could be well they could also be Caucasian um, they could have long blonde hair. Um, this person, they could have, um, let's see, they could have even, well, I did say black. They could be, well, they could be black. Um, let's see, what else? There could be something about their teeth. Maybe it's, they have nice teeth, but this dragon, I, I just see his teeth sticking out, and that just made me think of teeth. And then I saw these people, and they have nice teeth. So it could be something, you know, nice teeth. Um, this person could be a younger person. This person could be a child, the person that admires you. They could be a young adult. Um... It could be from the other side. You have admirers on the other side. they just always around you, admiring you on the other side is kind of what I'm getting here as well. So just know that, you know, you are 
special that you do have this innocence about you and there's more than one person that admires you for that there's many people that admire you for that so let's look at your channeled message so this is a deck that me and my daughter co-created so if you would like to purchase this the link is down below let's see what you got I want to be your favorite hello and your hardest goodbye oh so kind of like what I said, this person, um, you know, maybe they see you as a person who is able to leave your past behind and they could be like this zombie way back here and be like, no, don't leave me. You know, it could be that this person, um, you guys have left each other and they just, they're hoping that it's hard on you as, as hard as it is to them. So they really could want to be back with you, celebrate, um, but it could be that this person has to make that happen. They need to do something to make it happen. They need to make a sacrifice um, so that you guys can return to each other, get back together. So that's what I'm getting. If you picked the, uh, the tulip, sorry, I left the unicorn there. It confused me. If you picked the purple tulip, that is your reading. Thank you guys so much for coming. If you would like to go over to my community page and sign up for my free reading giveaway, um, I encourage you to do that. All you're required to do is subscribe and leave a comment over there on my community page and I will add you to the list to win that free reading. So if you guys also, if you would not like to wait <laughs> to see if you get that free reading, if you would like a reading right now, Check out my link below to my Etsy. I have lots of different readings over there available. I also have charms over there for sale. So if you guys are interested in charms, I sell charms. So that's all I really have to say. But I will be back again soon to do another reading for you guys. But I'm sending you love, light, and blessings. Bye-bye.